What's going on guys? We are here in After Pulse. Once again, we got a review for the 4-star maxed out A500 Cinnabar Edition. Just released in After Pulse. New gun. Pretty cool. Mostly black at lower stars and I'm sure you gain some more red dragon accents as you go to a 7-star. I think I've seen the 6-star maxed of this guy. I think that's the highest I have on the wiki right now. Don't think I've, I've seen the 7-star yet, but that should look pretty cool. Uh, I definitely like the black and red color scheme. Uh, but let's see, all the weapons in the series have an upgraded firepower, so that's going to be reflected in the damage stat. Standard increase in damage there, 1984 damage. And they also have a 15% extra range that will be reflected in the stats as well. You see range is 3364 on a 4-star max. That's pretty good. And the weapon damage decreasing point will be 10% farther. That's not going to be reflected in the stats, but that will affect the performance of this gun, obviously making it better. So yeah, it's kind of a mix between Dragon and Jade. I'll give you another 360 look. You can look at the rest of the stats if you want to, uh, but we should be evolving it at the end of this video into a 5-star. I've only gotten two 4-star A500 Cinnabar so far, so 5-star is the farthest I can go but I'm gonna jump into warehouse do a quick training match I think you know we could probably get 45 on a good day 45 kills in training here Let's see what we can do it looks pretty awesome on our back there in my opinion once again that black and red color scheme just seems to work for quite a lot of things like I, I think I said that in my last video whether it's sports teams or logos or what you know black and red just it always goes together Sports cars, I don't know. <laughs> so many things. Uh, but I've been farming a ton with this guy. If you saw my cash, I have like 700,000 or something. And uh, all my training energy is depleted. So I've been farming all day. Got this guy from in the last like hour or so. Got it from level 24 to 25 just from the XP gain from farming. Um, and I think they have the triple assault XP, at least it was active earlier today, it might have ended tonight, I'm not sure. You can always check my website, oldmanwillis.com, or afterpulse.oldmanwillis.com to go right to the After Pulse wiki, and we have a current events page on the homepage, I guess you'd say. About to get blown up. I don't know where that rocket went. Um, uh oh, here comes Hauser. But that'll tell you if that event is still in effect. I can't remember off the top of my head. But that's a good reference to check. I'm trying to stay focused here, do this weapon justice. Looks like we don't have the zero score bug. We're at almost 7,000 score. That's good to know. It's really frustrating when I was trying to level this guy up, doing a bunch of training matches, farming. Um, you know, I get the zero score bug, and when you get the zero score bug, you get zero weapon XP, and it's just the most frustrating thing ever. I'm like, honestly, like, considering, like, I'm gonna give Digital Legends an ultimatum. I'm gonna stop making videos unless they fix the zero score bug in the next, like, week or two weeks, but let's be real, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop the videos. Um... But, you know, it's just so annoying. I really wish they would fix it. It shouldn't be that hard. Looks like we hit 10,000 in score. You know, kills quick enough. Firing out of the scope is accurate enough. 33, 0, and 9. So, you know, like I said, if I'm really focused, I could get up to like 45 kills with this guy. But not bad. We did have the two-piece spray set, which gives us a boost in stability as well. Let's see what we got here. 10,000, 20,000 and 30,000. Not too bad. It's certainly not the most efficient. You know, there's a lot of other weapons that I could be using. I do have A500 Jade, four star maxed out. Still gotta do that guy. I got A500 Shamrock, four star maxed out. Still gotta review that guy. And I can evolve each of these once I review them. I got A500 Dragon, maxed out. Look at the range on this guy, 3656. That's like 300 more than the Cinnabar edition. 
And then we also got the A500 Autumn. I'm pretty sure I can evolve this guy as well. I'm not totally sure. I know for a fact I can evolve all the other ones, but just a lot of A500s to build and you know, just hasn't really been a priority. I've had those maxed out for a long time since the last Dragon and Jade Sal, but you know, with the A500 Shamrock at, at six stars basically maxed out, you know, it's level 32 there. Um, I could max it out whenever I want to, basically. Um, just a little bit of cash to uh, throw into this guy, but you know, there's really no benefit to building other A500s once you got this guy, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, Veteran is, is really good, you know, all the additions are really good and comparable. I'm not saying the Shamrock is the only one worth building, I'm just saying that they're all so close that once you have a six star A500 skinned edition, you know, as long as it's not the regular, like, you really don't have to build another A500. But I think the A500 Cinnabar is pretty cool, you know, it looks cool. Yeah. I'll build it if I get the pieces, but I'm not I'm not like dying to build it or anything. So like I said, I think I just have two four stars, so we can take it to a five star. You see event just ended and it restarted. We got Master of Cinnabar Dragon and Jade. Earn combat points by killing enemies with Cinnabar Dragon and Jade weapons series. I'll update that on the wiki page right after this video. I wonder if event would fill up. I might jump into there. Uh, but let's see, I might go with the launcher MK330. I don't know, just better to bring a launcher into ranked rather than the KG-18 that I use for farming. But we'll stick around here, wait for a match to fill up, and jump into it. Alright, we got a ranked TDM match on aircraft, and we'll jump into it here. Alright, the pressure's on, we are here in aircraft, counting down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's a race to the other side. Pretty sure I move a little bit faster with the launcher. Complete foul off the bat. It's always a good start. Oh, come on. Alright, for real this time. Hopefully nobody's sniping. I feel like it's such a disadvantage on the devices that get this crazy cloud effect, all the dust particles and stuff. Oh, look at that. I had to drag him down. We got one kill. We got taken out by a 6-star HMG 24 Alpha again. Ooh, that was a nice shot. So they're on the stairs. Let's see what else we got going on here. Two on the stairs, there's one there. Shadow King, there's a good kill with the 8500. Shows you some potential of the four star right there. Oh, we got this guy. There we go, free kill there. Hopefully, nobody's rocking AGL. We can sit here for a while and uh, get, some, get some kills going. There's a double kill without reloading, not bad. There's another kill. Man, they just keep running out. No, 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 teammate. Alright, teammate got him. Good work, guys. Alright, everybody's moving up. We got the whole squad here. Taking a lot of damage. Hopefully nobody runs all the way in there or else the, they're going to start spawning out of there. Like to keep the whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know how we got that kill. It'd be really nice to have some sound right now. That guy just took a lot of damage. Where's he getting hit from? Oh, we got a hit. They're back there. There we go. There's a good launcher kill. Popping it right under the truck. This guy crawling up the stairs. There's one back. Oh, behind me, behind me. Nope. <laughs> Dang. I wonder if he spawned out there. I don't know. I didn't see my teammates run in there, but... Actually, I think they can spawn outside of there if you're sitting on top by that doorway. On that little platform, so... Just 
run up with this guy, see if we can uh, scout it out. Looks like he's safe over there. A Shadow King there, got one up top. Ran out of ammo, can we get him before he gets down? There we go, there's another good kill. We're doing pretty good. I feel like we're already doing better than that six star maxed AC-30 dragon I just posted, I think yesterday. The A500 is just that much better, you know, even at a four star. We almost got blown up there. That guy's close to dying, we just took him out. Oh, that guy got aggressive, running up the stairs pretty quick there. Man, we're just picking off kills. Oh, oh, we are about to die at the end, but we stayed alive. That's what I call clutch. That should be a good match. 16, 3, and 0 with the 4-star A500. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is pretty awesome. That's a great match. I should just call that the review and evolve it and be done. Plus 17 ranked points. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to finish top 5% for this week. We got 7 hours left in the rankings. We'll jump into TDM. We'll get one more game with this 4 star A500 Cinnabar Edition maxed out. We won that spin around and we'll evolve it after this match so stick around for that. Alright we got a match on Warehouse here. Should be a good map for the A500. I'm glad it's a different map. Finally didn't get the same one two times in a row which I've mentioned a couple times in past videos. Should we run up to the left and be engaged in this cross map fight that always happens just a matter of who oh that guy's dead already wow Jared's putting in some work up there Got James XXD back there whatever that said let's try out the scope there we go look at how accurate that is in the scope oh man if somebody launches anything back here we're toast And can't quite clip him. Try to stay alive. Should we launch him out of there? Wow, I'm so bad with the launcher, guys. I don't know what happened. I'm about to die if I pop out again. Let's wait till he reloads. Man, how is that not reaching? How high do I have to go? Look at that thing, like it just it deflects away from him. I swear they nerfed the auto aim on the grenade launcher. It does not perform like it used to when I first got it. Oh jeez, this is a bad spot to be in. Come on team man, can't move, can't move, can't move. He's got some of the new gear on. Oh, there's a great kill. Now we got another one back there. Alright, teammate took him out. I'm going to go for the run. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, we made it up top. That's how to play tactical right there. Oh, free kill, free kill. All day, baby, all day. I'll take that one for sure. Let's see, are they down there to the left? I don't see anybody. Hopefully they don't start spawning behind me. Oh, there's one. Killer 101 again. Thanks for running out, buddy. Come on, guy. What are you doing? Who's this? Shadow King. What's up, dude? Why are you trolling me? I see you. I see you. What's up? What's up, Shadow King? Now you're blocking my shot, dude. Got him. <laughs> this guy's going crazy. I see you, buddy. I see you. Now he stole that kill. Dang it. Maybe he just wants that spot. Oh, look at that. Look how fast this thing kills, man. Four star A500. Pretty crazy. Stop following me. I go in, he goes in. Jeez. Now we got killed by this guy running up. Throwing me off, man.
<laughs> what is he doing? Stop, I'm trying to get this kill. Dang it, come on, now he got away. That was a foul, did you see that? Four star AC30, really? We're losing to this guy? Man, teammates just keep running in front of my shots. Kill assist. Oh, come on, one more at the end here, one more. Ultimate leg. He was jumping around like crazy. Got the victory. Six, two, and two. I feel pretty good about this review. I guess I played against some noobs, but <laughs> I don't know. Four star A500 is really a good gun. And I mean, it just goes to prove a new player. You know, you could easily get a four star A500 when you're level seven, whatever, when you can play your first multiplayer match. So, you know, I think that goes to prove that really a new player could compete with no problem. Um, we'll go to inventory. I already got a screenshot of this guy, so I'll go to fusion, evolve. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to be scrolling for ages. I'll probably cut through this and just cut to adding the weapons. Alright, I got all the weapons I'm going to burn. Going with a 4 star RS300 Chrome, 4 star KPM5 Chrome, and 4 star M349 Patriot. Don't need those guys. And now we just need the other A500. And there we go, finally, there's the other A500 Cinnabar at 4 stars. And let's see what we got. Max level goes to 30, obviously, for a 5 star. Damage goes down about 22 points there. Rate of fire down 60 points. Accuracy down what is that 120 stability goes up about 28 points there range goes down well, I don't know 144 looks like ammo stays the same at 36 costs almost 17,000 to evolve we certainly have enough cash since we've been farming uh, but there's a five star preview at the bottom so we're gonna evolve it and we got a 5 star, A500 Cinnabar. Not too exciting, you know, 6 star would be a lot more exciting since rate of fire gets above 4000 only once you hit a 6 star, so even a 5 star max isn't gonna be to that next level, but you know, it'll still be fun to build, fun to play with. We'll see if I can pull any more A500 Cinnabars, but as of now, this is the farthest I can go with it. So that is the five star. I'll grab a screenshot of this guy. I don't think I have one yet. I'm not totally sure. But you can always check the wiki. Been adding some Cinnabar weapons to it. That'll do it for this video. Just a look at the A500 Cinnabar four stars maxed out. Like you saw earlier on, I got a ton of A500s at four stars maxed that are ready to review. Uh, so I might do one of those next. I also got, I think Nox KJ might be next. Uh, I'll go by rank, I'm gonna go by level. I got Nox KJ up to level 34 out of 35. So I'll max that guy out and have the review. I'm not gonna be making the seven star, but I'll have the review of the six star maxed. You know, I did already post the Nox K Cinnabar, Nox K Dragon right there, level 29, level 27, respectively. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what weapons you'd like to see from the new series here, or if you want to see something different, something from another series. Um, you know, I got tons of projects to work on, tons of stuff to build. Uh, but that's kind of where things are right now, and yeah, that'll do it for this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, A500, same old story. It is a great gun. Cinnabar seems to be a pretty good addition, pretty good balance between Dragon and Jade perks. I'm not going to pretend like I know which one is better. I have no idea which one is the best, if there is a best. You know, they, I guess in theory they all have their strengths and weaknesses. So, you know, A500 Cinnabar is just kind of the, the medium between the two. Uh, and it's certainly not bad. And, you know, I think it looks the coolest in my opinion. I don't know. Cool to see the black and red again. Other than the veteran series, there's really no other black and red weapon, so that's cool, but that'll do it. And yeah, be sure to subscribe, and uh, then we'll get more subscribers. And uh, leave a comment for more comments, and I'll catch you on the next video.
Thank you.